my dad introduced me to music and he bought a Fender Strat early 90s but I remember how much of a big deal he told me about it like being because it like, cost a lot of money and etc etc and he said like this is the guitar and I kind of stick with it because I know where I'm at as well like I know where I'm at and, and they just work for me. This is a Fender Mustang. You can tell that for it has been written down here. So there's all that there's that. Yeah, I love I love this guitar actually. This is um this was a pre this was a present. I don't play this that often. I'm playing it on this tour because um we're doing a lot of like same night venues so it can be looked after. This 65 uh, Mustang and it's all original. It's starting to like it check it amazingly. But this is an amazing guitar. It doesn't really get played enough on the road. I love them. I love old Mustangs. It's my, it's my hobby. There's not really been anyone that's been that synonymous with the Mustang. That's what I'm trying to bring in a little bit. I don't, I'm subtly pushing it. I got, I got loads of them. I stumbled upon this guitar shop and I, and I had like the only money I had saved was about, you know, $1,300 for me. And I just saw this white Mustang and it looked like it had, I don't know, been in Sonic Youth. It was like the whole bottom of the, the net, the fretboard was just worn away. So it obviously had a heavy life. And I just loved it. And then once I got that guitar, I mean, obviously it, it, it felt like it was a catalyst for everything kind of happening. And then it very much became my signature shape. You know, like there's a lot of, you know, the aesthetic of our band is very important. Everything to do with it, the iconography. And I think, you know, that, that's what happens with Fender guitars. They, they become synonymous with who they are, you know, Jimmy Kirk. And um, so, and, and this, is, this is my shape. So I feel slightly, um, I feel slightly weird if, if I don't at least play it for the majority of the show.